All right, this is video number four. I believe we just have a couple of slides remaining. So this would be the like premier way to get your percent body fat done. I believe uh, the McGregor guy, I can't think, the boxer guy with the, with the, with the, with the who swears a lot. Um, I know he's had this done. There's like a video of him on YouTube cursing and swearing having this done. So that's not what your doctor does, right? You go to your doctor, they're just gonna start doing the, what we call BMI, body mass index. All body mass index is, is an estimate of your weight per height. It has nothing to do with percent body fat. And it's a mathematical formula, it's right here in the bottom, and you just fall into a category. So, you know, if this number says that you're, you're you know, you fall within 25 to 30, you're overweight, 18 and a half to 25, you're a healthy weight, your weight per height. Now, why do they use it? Because it's cheap. It's just height and weight. There's no, you don't need any special medical skills. And there are some, you know, relationships with this. If you look at uh, Miss America over time, so, you know, the Miss America pageant back in the day to the current day, it has actually now come back up. But, you know, in terms of what Americans expected Miss America's weight to be, it, it was traditionally, as time went on, less and less and less, whatever her height was. And there's, in fact, a little kind of a trigger point right here about the mid-19, late 1970s, early 19, uh, 1980s, when Miss America's weight was so low, she probably lost her menstrual cycle. Women will lose their period at about 17 and a half, 16% body fat, somewhere in there. Um, what is that saying? That, that's saying that the perceptions of weight in America, at least in the 80s and 90s, were unhealthy. And that's, that's a question for sociology, but... If you could say, you know, what we expect American women to be for their weight, it's unhealthy. And, and there, there's the science right there. It doesn't lie. Numbers don't lie. People can, people can manipulate them and interpret them, but numbers don't lie. If you compare all the states, just BMI again. Look, some states have way more weight per height. Now, are these all bodybuilders carrying a lot of muscle? No. We've looked at this before. This is the diabetes map. This is the heart disease map. This is the poverty map. This is, this is everything map. So this is income map. And you, and you go county by county, it's the same thing. So BMI is really good for looking at large chunks of data over time or, or at once. Um, but did any one person coming through the front door at a medical, a medical clinic? I mean, yeah. If someone is, has a lot of weight, you can say they're overweight, but for the average adult who might be 5, 10, 15 pounds overweight, that's just weight. What is the percent body fat? They don't measure it. It's too expensive. If you look at BMI over time, those who carry the most weight die, die earlier, die quicker. Um, now, males die a lot easier when they're overweight than females. That has nothing to do with the weight. That's called where do males carry the weight? That was the fats chapter. That is lipoprotein lipase. Females have it in their breast, hips, and thighs. Males have it at the belly. Belly fat, the worst fat. That was the, that was the diabetes, type 2 diabetes fat, if you remember. And that gets back to shape, right? So even if you can't have your percent, your percent body fat done using a fancy DEXA machine, you, you can also kind of, and I mean, it's a weird thing to stereotype your patient, but some patients are pear-shaped, some patients are apple-shaped. Apple shape is the scariest weight that we carry because it raises the risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and mortality. Whereas the apple shape, which is more likely to be a, a woman's shape because of lipoprotein lipase, is expressed differently in, in female tissue, is considered healthier. So where you carry your fat does matter. Now, do you really want your doctor like you're writing in her like medical log? I saw John uh, John Pollagrito today, definitely pumpkin shape. Like, I, I don't want that, right? That's not going to make me feel happy. I want my doctor to measure something to, to indicate that she's not calling me a fruit or vegetable or a fruitcake because I'm insane, but actually measuring something. And so there is something you can measure. Um, you, can, you, can do the, you can do the waist to hip. That's one way to do it. Uh, if this number is smaller than this number, that means you have kind of the hourglass shape. And, and you know, that works somewhat. But simply, if a male's waist is greater than 40 or if a woman's waist is greater than 35, you may be at risk for, for having abdominal, you know, the, the apple shape weight gain. Obviously, every, every patient, every client is different. So, um, yeah, that's it for this chapter. Uh, there were three big videos in this little tiny video. And by the way, Homer and Marge, we've said this before, they are drawn 
Lipoprotein lipase, correct. They are. Where they carry their body fat is lipoprotein lipase, correct. <laughs> the longest running show on television is The Simpsons. So take care.